Hi guys, so with the Better Together update for Minecraft Windows 10, which to be honest I'm a bit slow getting around to actually looking at, but anyway, um, I've noticed that a lot of the double piston systems don't work, one of my friends sort of highlighted it to me, and it's crazy how much they've messed up the, the delays on things. So yeah, I noticed that a lot of the double piston systems don't work, so I've come up with something that is a scalable version, which is easy to also change the timing on. So this is a version of it here. As you see, we've got 15 in a row here. You could actually take this up to 30 potentially. Um, and this works fairly simply. This is the control system, basically this, and then a series along here, which actually controls these redstone torches there. It'd be nice if we could put redstone torches on the top, but they self power and that causes a problem. So uh, what we're gonna do is just show you this here. So I'll do this, there we go. As you can see, it's fairly efficient and fast. All right. I was going to show you how to build this. Right, okay, so to build this, first thing we're going to do is take a line of pistons. I'll start off with seven. So you're going to need to put them in a line here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to need, obviously, a set of pistons on top of those. There we go. I'm going to build this as if I'm building it as big as it can go with the 15. So you don't actually need this first repeater if you're doing it smaller than 15. But this will just make life easier, just knowing what you're doing here. So put a repeater here, put two repeaters there. The first of these repeaters, we're going to put a delay of three on. And the second one, we're just going to put a second delay of three on. We can take that down later on. There is a reason that we're starting with delay of three and then taking it down from there. And I'll explain that at the end. Now, what we're going to do now is just take a line of dust around the back here. And we can connect this to here and this to here. Now, as you see, this will mean that any power that's coming into here... Well, it will go in very fast, but actually turn off a lot slower. Right, okay. Now from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a line of blocks here, whatever our building material is, take these out too wide, and we're just gonna get rid of this in here. So now we've got basically a line of blocks, one out from the top on the other side. And we're gonna put redstone torches along the back of here. There we go. And then above those torches, we're going to put another line of blocks. Like that. So that's what we should be looking at. Redstone here. Redstone torches here. These blocks here. Now, down and out one from those, we're going to have a two wide set of blocks that go all the way along. And then behind where all those redstone torches are there, we're going to put a load of redstone repeaters. One into the back of each one. And then just do a line of redstone dust behind that. There we go. Now, we are going to put a block here on the end. But first thing we're going to do is grab this uh, observer block. And just so it makes it easier to do it this way. We want that little thing there facing this way. And then we're just going to put a block here and a redstone torch. All right, we're almost done here. Last thing we're going to do is put a redstone repeater here. Feeding into that torch. And one feeding a bit of redstone dust that's going to be in front of this observer block. As you can see, that's going to give us our pulse. Take a bit of redstone dust out here and then just take it to the side. And now this is going to be our control block here. So we'll turn that on. We'll put that there and we'll be able to turn it on from here. And then here, we're just going to take this out to a three tick delay. All right. That should work. There we go. Now, the reason I said you want to put these on a full delay here is that if we take that down to as small of a delay as possible, you're going to see it starts glitching out once you put blocks on top of the pistons. I don't know why. That shouldn't be the case, but it is. So if we take this delay all the way down, as you can see, even though it does... Half of them work and half of them don't. So if you get to that point there, if you see this sort of thing happening, just add an extra tick delay on there. And it works perfectly fine. Now we may be able to remove, take this down a little bit. Let's have a look. Yep. Let's see if we can take this down to one delay. There we go. Uh, we might, let's see if we can take it even quicker down. I don't think we can. So the, the minimum delay you need on that is a, a, a one delay or two delay, whatever that is. 
Okay guys, so before I finish up the video, I wanted to go through all of the different elements here and just explain how they all play together. Now I'm sure that anyone who's got experience in Redstone could probably see what's going on, but just in case, I want to explain everything and how this works together. So on the left hand side, the reason that we've got these repeaters set up in this way is it just means that when we turn it on, it will go on almost instantly. But when we turn it off, we want it actually be to be delayed before it turns off. So for example, as you can see, I turned that on. It actually took quite a long time for this to go on, but this side instantly went on. But then when we turn it off, it's gonna be putting out power for quite a while. Now, the reason we wanna do that is, and the reason we've got this two repeaters here, is on this side, what's happening is we're going repeater to torch, to repeater to torch. So there's a little bit of a delay there. So just, you know, a tiny little, delay there is not going to make a difference that that will still go on before that side but on when it when we turn it off we want that delay here to be longer than it takes for these to drop so this means that when we turn it on okay left hand side goes on really quickly then this side goes on but when we turn it off because we've got a big delay on this side we want to make sure that, that goes off and then that goes off so that's why we've got on this input, we've got two sets of repeaters. One just so it goes on quickly, the other so it comes off after all of that is done. Okay. Now this side here, uh, what you saw with the torch and the repeater going in, that's actually what's controlling all of this. It just makes it an invert of the signal because obviously what we're actually powering this with is redstone torches and if we want them to be to come on when we turn the power on, then we need to invert the signal. So when we want them on, we actually want them powered. So when we want them off, we actually want them powered. And when we want them on, we want them not powered. So that's why we just invert that signal in from here. And that, now that means that whenever we put a power signal in, it goes on and it goes off. So that's how this side works and how it plays in with that and just getting that delay in there. The observer block is providing a pulse. Now it actually provides two pulses. So let me just put a couple of redstone repeaters in here. So it actually pulses when you turn it on and you turn it off. But the reason you don't see a flicker is because we've got the delay um, on here longer than this, is when we turn it on, okay, we've got signal going into there that turns that off. Well, it doesn't matter that when the power then comes onto here, we get a pulse going through. That makes no difference to this at all. So if we watch that pulse go through, it makes absolutely no difference to that. But what it does mean is that as long as these are powered at, this, these come off the same signal, it means that when this comes off, right, it's all dropped down, then the power will come off of that and give us our, our little burst up there. And what we can do is I can demonstrate that by doing this here. And I'm just going to put a um, lever. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm going to put a lever there. Um, and we do that. It makes no difference. We turn it off. We get that. Now, obviously, we don't need to have all this in here. But I'm just going to do this here. Right. Now, to show how you could uh, sort of set all this up from a distance, as you can see, Okay, you could actually have this quite far away here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all of this back here. We'll put our torch here with our redstone going out here. Yep, that powers it all. We'll just put a redstone repeater in here. Now this could go from miles away, but we'll just do it here. And we'll do our power here like this and then on this side we just want to make sure that the power goes into that side and this side at the same time so what I'm going to do is going to put a repeater here and a repeater here just to make sure that goes all the way through now from here we can actually do this as you can see let's turn this off and now we can power this all from the same place like say back here for example and now, if I've got the timings right on this, we should see this go on and work normally. So we do this. 
There we go. So as you can see, you can split a lot of these elements out. You could have them above each other. As long as you get the timings right, it's all good. And as long as you just have the ability to adjust the timings, it's, it's all going to work. Anyway, guys, I hope you found that useful. I hope if you've been having any problems with the double piston extenders and the retraction, this has helped you out. Um, yeah, have fun. Catch you all soon. Bye.